Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sebelius and LandonairPhotos.com. I'm glad you're watching this video. Safety tips aren't exciting or impressive, but if you're watching now, it means that you recognize they're important. Let's get started on my next safety tip. My next tip is really more of a general way of thinking about these things and <clears throat> we have so much fun with these and the companies really do a phenomenal job of building in safety features and controls and emergency things and obstacle avoidance and all this and that that we can lose a little bit of respect for what these things can do. I showed you the pictures from uh, the, the viewer who contacted me and thank you by the way to Jeff for letting me show those pictures and tell his story to you. Uh, but you saw the damage done to his hand, and he's, a, he's a, a paramedic, a first responder, and so he was able to deal with it right off the, the bat. But like I said, imagine if a child had been standing next to that, these props start spinning up and catch him in the face, catch him in the eye. It could be very serious. These things, these little motors on these drones are remarkably powerful. Powerful enough to pick these things up and fly them anywhere from 10, 20, 50 miles an hour at a time. So there's a lot of power to them and these blades spinning around are very sharp and they can cause some serious damage. Let's set that part aside. Let's talk, not talk about the power that, can, that comes from the motors and the damage that these props can do. What if you're at 200 feet flying over and hovering over a freeway and all of a sudden you, you motor dies or you throw a prop and your aircraft drops straight down into the middle of a busy freeway and it goes right into a windshield of a car going 70 miles an hour. This is what I'm talking about. Have respect for what these drones can do and what they can actually do to you or somebody else, the damage they can cause to people or property. And use some common sense about where you fly and the respect that you give them and the, the way that you keep them at safe distances from yourself and from others and avoid having those kind of things happen and cause damage that you certainly don't want to have happen. I want to keep these safety tip videos short, so I'm going to break them up into one tip per video. A playlist of all the safety videos is on screen now. Be sure to subscribe so you know when the next tip is released. Help me to make our hobby safer. Share these video tips with other drone pilots so that people know how to operate their drones safely. That's it for now. Until my next video, fly smart, fly safe, have fun.